xyp.com use code cute at checkout it's easy fast legit link down below with me buying coins off this website go save your time go save your money right now 500k is below $14 when you use code Q. All right, guys, we are back. Top 10 pass rushers. Let's go ahead and get to it. Subscribe if you're new. I do at least three videos every single day. I did five yesterday. Now, up next, I have the top 10 D tackles out there. I have the top 10 must have cards on your team. Let's get to it. You know who's not number 10? It's Bennett. This card is trash. He has edge threat. Edge threat is trash. He does not get edge threat elite, so you can't even rush with him, guys. Guys, do not put this guy on a blitz with edge threat. You will see nothing. I know he has good traits. He has good speed. He's unusable. Don't use this card. All right, guys, number 10 is going to be Vaughn. Vaughn, he has pretty good speed, and he has 99 block shot. This is a pass rushing list, though, but just to put that in there because he's going to help against the run. Now, he has the thresholds for power and finesse move his traits are great and he gets s lead for zero so substituting this guy in is really no penalty right because he gets it for zero this is all you got to put on him now is he gonna get the animations as others no but is he gonna be a good substitution yes i want you guys to really think about sometimes in a long drive your right in your dn your left in whatever you want to call them they're tired right so i like putting fresh blood in there so yeah you'd be a good substitution at number 10. boza is next he is fast of course he is threshold 99 block shot again and this guy here has great trace he shows up and i know this is the pass rush list and he's gonna be good at it guys he's actually gonna show up on the field he doesn't get the best discounts but i will say he's great against the run as well now this guy can show up i do like this card i've written this card for a very long time He's not on my team anymore, but he's a good pass rusher. Reggie White is next. I like this guy more on the inside, but 94 speed. He hits the thresholds. 99 block shot again. He gets all 32 team chems. Now, Reggie White actually plays really well, and he saves you a lot of AP. You can get outsiders and edge threat elite for zero. That's pretty crazy. So if you're looking, I just need to put somebody there. I need to save AP for a safety. Get this guy, put him on your team. He's going to be worth it. He's going to show up and you're going to save AP. So Reggie White is still pretty good. Up next is a new card, Jack. Jack has great acceleration. Of course, he has the thresholds. And yes, you can move this guy around everywhere, basically. I really like that. His traits are great. He's not going to have the crazy x rays that's going to hold him back. s for Elite for zero is nice. This guy is going to be good with the traits, the speed, uh, the way you can move him around, and the discounts. He's a really good card, but who's better? LT is next. I really like this card. He actually is a little better than you think. I read him for a very long time. He's still on my team. Uh, he's not going to leave my team. He's actually really good. And... With thresholds and speed and all of that, you can move them around. I really like this. Great traits. Now, this guy here is one of really good discounts as well. Extra Elite for zero. That's why I'd recommend for you to put on him. And he gets discounts all the way to tier two. Secure tacklers. Nice to get those X Factor running backs down. So, LT is great. He's missing the X Factor. And that's why the next card is a lower overall because the x-factors is too good to ignore guys the x-factor is, is still too powerful it really is if some of my new players are watching unstoppable force is just unbeatable he is slow i get it but guess what he's going to make more plays because of the x-factor this is how the game's programmed milkman still shows up for 270k he is going to really show up and make plays for you. He's good. If you haven't used him, you know what? There's better cards now, but this card is still very effective. Up next is Maniac. 95 speed. He gets the X Factor, guys. That's why he's on the list. And with the X Factor, you just can't deny how effective it is. It's going to get home and really create some pressure to help you out. Now, he's just much faster than Milk. He's just a direct upgrade over Milk. He gets every team as well. So, Maniac is going to be a great option. if you. I do like Tank better than Maniac, probably because of his weight. He plays a little bit better. Uh, are they going to be very similar? Yes. Um, but 
I do like Tank. I did notice him a little more. His traits are perfect. And yes, this card is going to be still good for a very long time. 500k, he's going to give you 500k worth of effort. I'm going to tell you right now, this guy will show up. He will make plays. He is that good. Go try out. Groot is next, and he's better than Tank. So, the speed, you're going to be like, well, it's similar. The power, the finesse is not as good. And guess what, guys? You're going to get the same amount of just like sacks and pressure with the X Factor. But the difference is going to be a secure tackler. So you're going to want that to really get those X Factor running backs down. And Tank does not have that. So um, just from a different way, this guy's better. Even though his traits are just not almost as good, uh, he's going to show up the same because of the X Factor activated. He's going to really get the job done. Furious George, not Curious George, is number one. 99 Excel, you cannot ignore that. That is so important. I really have 99 Excel than 99 Speed. I'm glad they did not give him 92 Excel. I rather really have 99. So, this guy here, look at the team cams. It's crazy. Traits are great. Of course, he gets the X Factor and he gets Secure Tackler. So, he's just going to be a faster Groot, and that's why he's going to be better. Uh, besides that, you're going to see very similar production but he does have better uh finesse move than group so that's gonna do for me guys go get Farius. you won't regret it he is worth whatever he's running for 700k absolutely worth that go do that be kind of another reason go watch the top 10 d tackles that's coming out in an hour and then an hour after that i'm gonna have the top 10 must have cards in madden right now to help you win so have a good day be kind of another reason